When I did paint, started to paint, the, the frustrating thing, thing was my teacher said, well, you've got a sort of an ability, so every time I did something wrong, it used to kill me, you know? Um, so if I was an idiot and I didn't know what I was doing, I knew that what I was doing was either good or bad. So it was a painful process. I read lots of Dickens just to get into, because I, I can read lots of factual books, but I'm not so brilliant at retaining that. But if you get into a story and you're in that world, so I, I, I read a lot. I read a lot of Byron and um, uh, Frankenstein. I read. I did a lot of housework. <laughs> I, um, I spent a lot of time in rehearsals, sweeping up, scrubbing tables, washing windows. Um, you know. He's going mad. All that stuff about he's going mad. No, he isn't. Is he? No, he's not. Oh, I think he's becoming a buffoon. You know, the English way is to destroy those who become too famous. We know that. Give him a bit. Smash them down, see if they can survive. If they don't, oh, oh, they've committed suicide. Oh dear. Next. <laughs> How's the milk? Don't know. You're still making your nice little pictures. <laughs> Mr. Turner seems to have taken leave of form altogether. The universe is chaotic, and you make us see it. You are a man of great vision, Mr. Turner. I oh, thank you.